call it, especially on the power play. And there he uh, cross-checked his former teammate, Jared Keane. So the Ice Dogs power play, third in the Ontario Hockey League, clicking along at a 30.3% efficiency. Aiden Castle coming right in, broke shoe with a good save. The shot came from a sharp angle. London's penalty kill is also top for Femis. Keane is the lone defenseman for the Ice Dogs. 40 on the power play left, pass blocked. Puck back to the line, Keane keeps it in. Cross it goes for Femis. Femis, patient, slides one across and it got deflected away from Castle. Keane, skating in strongly behind the net. Sets it up for Femis. Ice Dogs are kept to the exterior. Nice move by Femis to get to the slot. Slides it to Keane. Keane, patient. Femis, oh, he wanted to pull the trigger and just lost the handle. Has it back again. Set across for Keane. Tucks for Zito. Fanned on the shot, and the puck is going to be clear. Jaribo, and it's tipped in by Dan. Logan Mayu, the Montreal Canadiens' first round draft pick, will roll one around, and it's collected by Dan. He will duel with Mayu. Sent across, and then Castle got a stick on it, but couldn't get it on net. Dan can't settle a bouncing puck, and Mayu will turn back in his own zone. And Mayu striding in confidently, and look at Mayu go, but a late call on the extra move by the big defenseman. It's offside. Again, it's tough, you know, as a broadcaster and a scout not to notice 14 in green. I mean, look at head up, head up, feet are moving, looking for option, dishes it, gets it back. Nice little give and go. And it's a nifty little move, and I mean, this guy's just unbelievable to watch. I think we might show uh, highlights of him all evening. Oakland going towards the net, but the pass was picked off by the long reach of Mayu. Rebo. Zito whistles a shot that goes wide. Jared Keane will take it. Juan Copeland. Copeland skating. Angle is sharp. He drives it out front, and Zito had to go off the end of his stick. Copeland cycles one down low, picked up by Zito. Copeland to the front of the net. Puck will come back to the line. Shot. That's that's one is is you know he got pulled last game, giving him an opportunity to get rid of that. Mayu will turn back against the Juan Copeland for checking and the hulking defenseman with a lead pass. Crane, good timing play. Look at Diaco go, and it's a toe save and a good one from Owen Flores. Puck back to the line, McKinnon keeping it in. He'll send one down low. There's Diaco, he's around the puck again. And the puck will bounce to the line, and Mayu shows off his soccer skills, which weren't that great as he missed the puck. McGurn, lead pass for Mayu, and Mayu, drop pass, Diaco give and go to Mayu. Mayu coming in, tried to stuff it in around the net, to the side of the net, covered up by Flores. He holds on. It's one, Diaco, the way he's playing, two, Flores. He makes a big... Or maybe the Federkow family are watching and will be able to provide us with that information. Rebo gets knocked down behind the net. McHugh looks to get it for Barkey. Misho helping out. Moves it forward but doesn't get that far. Kevin He and Rebo are in close quarters. Around it goes for Jared Keane. He's got it for Andrew LeBlanc and they look to speed away in transition. This fast line backhanded in by He. Misho in on the forecheck. Mayu lead pass. Cowan missed it. Logan Mayu. Dan will track him, but Mayu escapes the forecheck and gathers momentum inside the Ice Dog zone. Lost the puck, though. David Jesus there. And Jesus will play one around for Jacob LeBlanc. Here's Nolan Dan lifting. And Mayu will deal with it behind the net. Crane with a, a blind backhander. That's why we're at four on four. And here's Pano Fimis. Turning. And he'll feed it to Aiden Castle, and Keane has jumped into the rush. Knights could have an odd man opportunity here if they get things going. And it's Diaco along with Mayu, and Mayu swiped it forward but didn't get anywhere with it. 21, and Bujold was 19th overall in 2020. Here's Juan Copeland. Look at Copeland go! Copeland is in, and it's a nice save by Brochu. Copeland holding the line down low. Puck will come free to the half court. Sears Adi up top for David Jesus. Traffic materializing out front in the form of Misho, but Sears Adi's shot got deflected and get it past Diaco. Diaco slides one down low. McHugh will return it for Diaco. Diaco up top, it goes for Oliver Bonk, and there's Mayu with a shot, and that one will sting David Jesus. He's still down on his knees. 
struggling to get up after Blood McGurn. Had in the right follow-up shot. Flores with a fine save. As Mayu had an opportunity. Here comes Aiden. Blocked on a good defensive play made by Ethan McKinnon. All cycles one. Castle turning. Sends one for Declan Wadick. And Wadick with a good shifty move. Comes to the front of the net. Out front it goes for Pato Fibis. He scores! Mayu drop pass. Bonk scores! Deflected by a high stick potentially. McGurn got a piece of it. Power play goal right now as it stands. 2-1 London. Niagara screaming for a high stick. And take a look at it. Tiako here again. Throws a beautiful pass to the point. Nice little reverse. Boom, there's the quick shot. Another look at it. going to be tough to eat older. Ed, last Saturday they played in Sarnia down 4-1, came back and tied the game 4-4 but then allowed a late goal and lost 5-4 in regulation. Here's Nolan Dan as the Ice Dogs look for some early pressure. London team had a very slow start to the year. Won their last two both against Saginaw. As Logan Mayu, hard to believe Mayu. So much attention around him, but suspension and injury, and it's only his 20th at career OHL game. Brochu with a save, and he holds on. Montreal's got a good first round pick there, don't they? they what do you think? What do, do you think? Oh, they, I think he's an outstanding player. The controversy sound rounding his selection has been talked about a lot so no need to further that discussion but he's got all the tools doesn't he Puck backhanded in only part of the way right. out of that scrum the face off came outside the zone that's the only break the ice dogs got on that last call so the only penalty went to Flores out of that exchange. Diaco will backhand one around. London in business on the power play. McHugh shoved down. He goes, and the Ice Dogs will clear. As pa Spins it back for Diaco and Logan Mayu. Big defenseman coming in. Mayu slides one out from McHugh with a reverse pass. And a shot wide by McGurn. He was looking for his third. It out by Waddock. So Bonk, again cycling it back, and Mayu will play it for Diaco. Micho in there looking. Diaco right around him, and Diaco has the skates moving behind the net. He wanted to slide it to McGurn again like he did in the first period. Up top it goes for Bonk, set up for Mayu. Mayu pulls it back with a shot, blocked and cleared by you. Out front, and it's knocked away by a Rebo. What a third period Rebo's having for Niagara. Cowan was right in front. Mayu gets a shot through and it pinballed off of the knees of Keane. Great job by Flores to track that puck through traffic. McHugh sending one down low. Cowan for Mayu. Swiped at it. Oh, it hopped over Misho's stick. It's loose beyond the blue ice as Flores couldn't cover it up and McHugh got spilled. Here comes Rebo. He's playing with some enthusiasm, that's for sure, as the puck is inside the London zone. Logan Mayu, big man, striding confidently inside the ice dog zone, and a shot was blocked by Rebo in the loose puck. Located by Themis, he'll relieve the pressure. McKinnon for Mayu, cross ice speed. Diaco, McGurn, Crane, shot deflected. As he banks it back to the line, a shot coming, never got through, follow-up opportunity, just rolled wide yeah. by Sib. Collected by Bujol, leaving it for Mayu. Cuts to the outside, driving the net, and Flores had to stay strong. They score on the follow-up! It was Mayu who stayed with it, and it's... Drafted in the first round and signed by the Montreal Canadiens. I mean, he just turned it on. He busts towards the net. It seems like he gets his own rebound and just capitalizes and gets London the lead here in the third period to make it 3-2. Watch big number 24. Protects the puck, goes right to the blue paint, and then gets his own rebound and goes upstairs. This is a big boy. 
and goes upstairs in a hurry. So Mayu, 6'3", 208. It's for offside. Bones was down there pleading the key. Called this goal back. And this is, you can see at the, yeah, that you, you can see, that was off by substantial. Here's Nolan Dan back in, and he'll challenge Mayu, and Mayu use that long reach, knock the puck away. So many twists and turns in this game here this evening at the Meridian Center. Look at the firepower on the ice right now with these six players. Femis, Castle, Jesus for Niagara. McHugh, Diaco, Mayu for London. David Jesus as the Ice Dogs are first in the zone. And Jesus driving around and Pano Femis now with the puck and Femis falling down and able to get back up and fight to get it forward at least as McHugh backhands it. And it's Diaco all by himself right now with a shot and that's over the net. Castle. Zito quickly on the ice for Niagara with a pass for Aiden. Reversed it. It's a blind reversal given away to Denver Barkey. May you want a breakaway. May you scores. He was denied in regulation. Logan Mayu would not be denied in overtime, and it's a third overtime loss on home ice for Niagara. London wins 3-2. He was just right there, ready to jump on this mistake, and it's a great saucy pass that landed this opportunity, and the Montreal Canadian first-round pick just buries this one. Five-hole on Flores.